Meanwhile, the Zika crisis is now spreading across the state of Florida. As Florida's Governor Rick Scott says that health, health officials there are investigating five new cases of non-travel related Zika transmission. One of those is in Pinellas County. Uh, that's on the Gulf side of the state. It's near Tampa. The other four new cases are in the Wynwood neighborhood in Mi Miami, the original Zika zone, if you'll recall, in South Florida, while the other is in Miami Beach, a second zone established. You can see them there on the screen. Now, Governor Scott said today that mosquito control officials have cleared half of the Wynwood area. So far, CBS News correspondent David Bigno now joins us on the phone uh, with the very latest here. And uh, again, uh, David, even as uh, the tete-a-tete -tete between the governor and Miami Beach's uh, mayor has played out, what is the status uh, first in this newly established second zone? It's a tourist hotspot of, of Miami Beach. Well, Josh, in Miami Beach, they're going door to door. They're telling people to remove standing water. They'll give you a thousand dollar fine if they've already told you before and warned you and you didn't do it. Uh, but not a lot of standing water on the streets of Miami Beach. It's a dry, hot day, but that's what's happening here. What's interesting is Pinellas County. So that's the northern part of the state. You've got one case of non-travel related Zika. So crews are going door to door right now and they're sampling people to see if there is a new Zika zone, a cluster of cases. So what happens there is they knock on your door, they ask you to submit to a urine sample, they ask you how you're feeling, and if you have any symptoms of Zika. That's what's happening right now being done by the Florida Department of Health. But let me tell you, the news release that was put out by the governor's office today is confusing at best, and that is putting it politely. The governor's office says that uh, there is no further testing and no evidence of continued active transmission in the Wynwood area. Well, that doesn't seem to make sense because there are four new cases in the Wynwood area. So what we've, what we've come to learn, Josh, is that as officials are very honest and open about their learning about Zika every day and they continue to learn something new daily, there are also a lot of missteps and confusion in the information that is being disseminated to the public. Here, this, we're getting this press release saying there's no evidence of active transmission any longer in the Wynwood area, but they're saying there are four new cases. So we're trying to work through some of that information, but that's what it is daily in trying to get information from the state of Florida. They are very private. They don't release a lot of information, and it's confusing. And to give the political context here, uh, both sides have really politicized this issue. We've heard from Democrats and Republicans that it's the other side that has held up the nearly $2 billion uh, that's been asked for uh, in Congress uh, that would be provided in part to the state to fight uh, this ongoing and burgeoning crisis. We also heard from the very first days of the very first cases, we've heard Governor Scott say, meanwhile, I have it under control, the state has it under control, and I will allocate the necessary funds. What then, as we heard essentially as we see the mayor there at Miami Beach on the screen, uh, who said that he was blindsided, that essentially it was the governor who discussed the cases in Miami Beach before ever telling the elected officials there uh, first. What is your sense of the concern now as we see uh, these transmissions push north? It would appear that we've lost uh, David Begno again. We will effort uh, our communication uh, with David and uh, be back with him as soon as we reestablish.